Hush. No wonder one day we come back from riding the horse all slathered, snorting, and he takes the reins. All slathered, snorting, and he takes the reins, the groom does, and he helps us dismount, the groom does, his hand touching the back of our thigh, and we notice, and he notices, we notice, and we remember that we've noticed him before, most especially bare-chested that day, heaving the straw, those arms, that butt. But no wonder we smile in that way, he understands so quickly, and no wonder he leads us into a further stall, into the fucking hay, for God's sakes, and down we go, and it's revenge and self-pity we're doing it for until we notice it, turning into pleasure for its own sake, for our own sake, and we're dripping wet, and he rides us like we've seen in the pornos, and we actually scream. And then we lie there in the straw, which probably has shit on it, and cooling down, he tells us he wanted us a lot, that he likes big women, but he didn't dare. And will he get fired now? And I say, no, no, of course you won't, and for a month or more, oh, of it, I don't. But then I do. I do have him. Fired. It's dangerous not to, because it's a good deal I've got with the Penguin. A long-term deal in spite of the crap he pulls, and you'd better keep your nose clean or polish anyway for the real battles for the Penguins, other lady folk, the real ones, the mother who just doesn't like you for no good reason. Except her daughter hates you, fears you, and hates you, and... Envy is therefore hates you, dumpy, stupid, whining little bitch, just doesn't like you. Maybe in part because she senses the old man's got the lech for you. And besides, no girl's good enough for the penguin, not her penguin. The first two sure weren't, and this one's not going to be either. Try to keep on the good side of the whole wretched family stand up for your husband when he won't do it for himself. Watch out for all the intrigue. Start really worrying about your sister who's really stopped worrying about herself, about anything. Watch your own mother begin to change even more than you are where you are. And then tries to raise that. That gets himself thrown out of every school he can find even one or two. We haven't sent him to senses. He hates you. Catch him doing it with your niece-in-law and your nephew-in-law the same week. Start reading the letters he's getting from, how do they call it, older friends telling him how to outwit you, how to survive living with his awful family. Tell him you'll, you'll brain him with the fucking crystal ashtray if he doesn't stop getting letters, doesn't stop saying anything, doesn't stop, just doesn't stop. And he sneers, and he says very quickly that he can have me put in jail for opening his mail. Not while you're a minor, I tell him. You just wait. I tell him, you just wait. I have you thrown out of this house so quick it'll make your head spin. You're going to fire me, he says, quietly smiling. You're going to fire me, too, just like you fired him. He's good in bed, isn't he? Of course, you wouldn't know about bed, he says. You, He keeps getting up, stops by me, touches my hair. I thought I saw some straw, he says, sorry. And he walks out of the solarium, out of the house, out of our lives. He doesn't say goodbye or either to us. He says goodbye to Mother, upstairs. He says goodbye to the Pekingese, too. I imagine he packs one bag and he leaves. Get out of my house. Does that tell you a little something about change? Does that tell you what you want to know?